In this video, we're going to practice writing the formula for ionic compounds when we are given the name of the compound. An ionic compound is composed of oppositely charged ions. Ionic compounds form when the positive and negative charges balance each other out. For example, sodium chloride, table salt, has a positively charged sodium and a negatively charged chloride that stick together, so the sum of their charges will equal zero. Positive one plus negative one equals zero. Sometimes ions have larger charges. For example, magnesium has a two positive charge. So when it creates an ionic compound with chloride, you need two chlorides to balance the charge of the magnesium. It's first necessary to determine the charge of each ion, and here are some tips. When most metals form ions, the charge will be equal to their number of valence electrons, which I'll know from the group number on the periodic table. This is because they lose their valence electrons to form ions, so all group 1 metals form a positive 1 ion, group 2 form positive 2, and group 3 form positive 3 ions. Transition metals do not follow this trend, and they can often form multiple different ions. So the charge of a transition metal is included as the Roman numeral after its name. Nonmetals form ions as they gain enough electrons to fill their valence shell with 8 electrons. Since the group number indicates the number of valence electrons, just figure out what you need to add to get to 8, and that will be its negative charge. So group 5 will need 3 electrons, and they'll have a 3 negative charge. Group 6 will have a 2 negative charge, and group 7 will be negative 1. Once the nonmetal becomes an ion, we change the ending of its name on the periodic table to ide, so oxygen becomes oxide, and so on. Finally, sometimes a single ion are made up of multiple elements. We call these a polyatomic ion. You recognize a polyatomic ion by its name because they usually end in 8 or ite. So let's write some formula for these names. Calcium forms a 2 positive ion and fluoride forms a negative 1 ion. You're going to need 2 fluorides to balance the charge of the calcium, so it's CaF2. Strontium forms a 2 positive ion and nitrate is a polyatomic ion. Nitrate is NO3 with a negative charge. That means it's the whole group of that 1 nitrogen and 3 oxygens that has a negative 1 charge. Since we'll need a 2 negative charge to balance the charge of the strontium, we have to add a whole nother nitrate ion. When you have more than one polyatomic ion, you put it into parentheses and you put the number on the outside like this. Sodium has a positive 1 charge and sulfite is another polyatomic ion, SO3 with a 2 negative charge. This time we need two sodiums to balance the charge, so it's Na2SO3. Since there's only one polyatomic ion, you don't put it into parentheses. In the next one, we have another sodium ion, but sulfide is sulfur from the periodic table that has become the sulfide ion and has a two negative charge. So I'll need two sodium ions to balance out that charge. Finally, iron is a transition metal. So this Roman numeral tells me that this iron has a two positive charge. Oxide has a two negative charge, and so it's FeO. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, please like it and subscribe to the channel.